Hey guys, Cajun Reseller here. Uh, I went on vacation for the last week, and these are the sales that happened while I was gone. I put uh, both stores, the eBay store and the Mercari store, on basically vacation mode. For Mercari, that's basically deactivating everything. I activated it a couple days ago because I knew I'd be back within the three-day time frame, and I sold two items. And then I sold about 11 or 12 items on eBay. I'll start with this one first. Yes, it is the wor the worst team as an LSU fan. <laughs> They're obviously not the worst because they win championships, but an Alabama floral shirt from Spike. It's an XL. It's a red floral shirt. Nice shirt. Uh, paid, as you can see right here, I'm going to take this off before I ship it, obviously, but I paid $5.99 at Goodwill, and it sold for $29.99. This is from the storage, the storage unit that y'all saw me empty out. This actually sold for, I think, 18 bucks. It didn't really have a brand per se, but I'd found somewhere else, somewhere on here, I think at the bottom of the shirt, it said Target. It's more of a dress than a shirt, but it's a large. It's really nice. It's got like the shoulder. I don't really know how to describe women's clothing, but I'll sell it. <laughs> it's sold. Uh, and also sold this for $14. It's two different kind of dresses. They're both no boundaries, but they were together in the storage unit, so I decided to list them together, and they sold. I sold this Halo hat. I think I've shown this in a previous haul. I paid a dollar or two for it. It sold for $20 on eBay. This I got from Donatello Bodolino's auction for, you know, at, probably for 2 or $3 once you average them all out, and it sold for $12. This Anaheim Angels hat, I paid a dollar for it, I think. But actually, I think I might have got, I don't remember for sure where this came from. I've shown it in a haul video before, but it sold for around $15 on eBay. Sold this Corey LaJoy car. I got this at Walmart Retail Arbitrage for about $6, and it sold for $18. This driver is not very good, but the Scooby-Doo is what makes this car hard or harder to find and makes it worth more. So that's why it sold for as much as it did. Twisty Pets. Tinkle Puff Dragon. Sold for $17 or $18 on eBay. I sold this Odie Plush for, I think, $9. Not great pro Not a... A lot of profit, but it's still profit considering I probably just paid a dollar or less for him. This also came in a lot from Donatello Bodolino. It's a Lion King Simba. I think that's where it came from at least. Not positive. But he sold for, I think, $25. On Mercari, sold these four DVDs of Dean Martin. Celebrity Roasts for around $36. And I sold this... Uh, stitch hat to Ginger Ann. Thanks for this purchase. The second purchase I've had from a viewer. Lilo and Stitch hat. This is for her kid. It's a really cool Lilo and Stitch hat. Or I guess it's just Stitch actually, but it's a cool hat. Floral design from Disney. And the best sale of the weekend probably was this uh, Peter Pan figure with Tinkerbell in the snow globe. Still has the tag. From Disney Store. This sold for fifty dollars, even though it says sixteen fifty on there. It sold for fifty dollars. Uh, I got this in the first storage unit, one of the first storage units I bought that weren't shown in the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this is a short clip, but this is all my weekend sales. And uh, until the next video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks. Okay, guys. I got a couple more sales to update on this video before I end this video. <laughs> uh, just to make it a little bit longer, because right now it's only like three or four minutes. Sold some more Illuminati cards at auction. These three together sold for twenty nine forty nine. It's technically four cards. There's two uh, girly magazines. One Rif... Rifknight? Rifknights? I don't know. Whatever. Liquor companies. This Kill for Power. Card has been paid for. It sold for around I think nine fifty, and this reach out card actually sold for eighteen dollars. Funny thing, like I've said on some other ones, I had listed this one probably three or four times, relisted it, relisted it, relisted it. Well, this time I relisted around ten. It winds up going for eighteen ninety nine because people bid it up. <laughs> so you just never know when that one person's going to come along that wants to buy your card, and or those two one two people come along and want to buy that card. Also got some Funko Pops today for five dollars each uh this is a labyrinth i think labyrinth not labyrinth labyrinth ludo 
This one goes for probably 50, even with the box not in so great a condition. I paid five for each one of these, keep in mind. This is probably gonna be sold out of box, but this figure is hard to find now. It's It's been out, it's been, it came out a long time ago. I think it was, I don't know if you're Walmart exclusive or not, but it's Slave Leia, Salacious Crumb, and Jabba the Hutt. Uh, and then this plush, uh, plush. I got plush on the brain. This Funko Pop, I need to sell more of these, and yet I'm buying them. Go figure. K9 from Doctor Who will sell well as well. I'm not sure of the exact comps on that one. Agent Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. goes for around probably $20 $25. And Jareth. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I don't watch this show, Labyrinth. Probably goes for around twenty to twenty-five. I might combine those two labyrinth ones together. I am not sure. And now for the bad news. <laughs> I decided to break my best for sale. This was that Peter Pan figure you saw in the previous video. Where I said, Oh, this is sale of the day or the weekend, yay. Well, yeah, not so much anymore. I put it down on the floor to take the video, which was a bad idea, because I promptly stepped on it after I made the video. So this is now a headless Peter Pan. T Tinkerbell's still fine. If you want a headless Peter Pan to add to your collection, this will probably go on my wall. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, not much else I can say about that. That was disappointing. That was a $50 sale right there. But I will add one more sale that I made while I was up in Arkansas. I shipped it out while I was up there. It was a Chris Butcher Jr. card that I will show right here. It sold for around $95, and it went to Canada. He is from Canada, he played at Oregon, and he plays for the Toronto Raptors. It was an airborne... Airborne exclusive rookie or rookie card. Uh, I didn't even know his name. I don't know who he is, but that will make up for this car, this sale. I forgot about. I forgot that I shipped out over the week when I was up in Arkansas. So it does count as a this week in reselling for me. You know, sales week. So that was a bit of good news to counteract Mr. Peter Pan being headless now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we all make mistakes. I know I do, and I know everybody else does as well. But that's one that I should easily avoid, you know. But it happened, and I uh, can't really do anything about it. I debated buying one on eBay and sending it to the buyer, but I, none of them looked like mine. None of them had the tags like mine did. So I just, I just had to cancel it. There's not much else I can do. <laughs> Until the next video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys.